It's time for even more fortune and glory, kid, because we're back on our breathtaking expedition with the third episode of the Well of Souls building series. Our journey is picking up speed as I'm now almost completely done with making the chamber, and with all of the crazy techniques I'm using, it's looking like nothing I've built before. So grab your whips and light up your torches as we dive deeper into this awesome adventure with the one and only Indiana Jones and let's get started right now. The well of the souls, huh? Come, come, look, look here, look. Ah yes, the well of souls is nearing completion and by the end of today's episode, you will see most of the chamber completed, but not to make this too quick, let's check out what I did since the previous episode step by step. So having the side walls of the chamber done last time and a placeholder of the wall in the back, I figured it's a good way to start, so I took a few sheets of stickers I already bought and started placing them on some bricks. So it turned out I have a pretty decent collection of hieroglyphs right now, so here is what the first draft of the wall looks like. But to be honest, I'm not completely satisfied with the results, mostly because these old adventurer's team panels don't fit in the overall aesthetics of the wall, so I think I'll remove them and maybe place somewhere else later on. But first, let's rebuild the wall in the back without these panels, but adding one more important feature I totally forgot about. Yep, you know what I mean. Snakes. That's right. And with that we have a much better pattern on the wall, which should be enough to make it look like a proper background for the whole scene that will be taking place inside. So now with that done, it was time to finish the remaining outer wall and here to be honest, I was a bit afraid that I won't have enough bricks but using some modified ones facing inward, I was able to finish it up completely. And this way, we have the outer walls completely done, and I even found use for the panels we were talking about earlier, using them as small decorative pieces in the front, just to break the overall plain surface of the tan bricks. Oh, and one more thing about the back wall, I want to show you how I mounted it to the rest of the structure. I just used a couple of Technic bricks with pins which perfectly fit to the roof structure, making it sturdier and holding both the wall and the roof piece together, and that is a win-win situation. So the next step is finally taking care of the chamber ceiling, which I prepared last time with reverse Technic bricks that should allow me to make it without any problems. I already prepared the ceiling part using a similar mix of plates and tiles as on the floor, so now let's mount it in its rightful place and see if my calculations were correct. He was wrong and you knew it! Yeah, I was afraid of that. It's a bit smaller than the distance between the side walls, so it leaves a tiny, nearly half stud gap on each side, and that is something I cannot allow. The mock already has too much of tiny gaps, so I guess I have to make the ceiling wider and hope it will fit perfectly. And just when I rebuild the ceiling making it one set wider, this happened. I broke off the entire wall section, but at least I was able to fit the ceiling where it's supposed to be, so now I'll have to attach the whole section again but this time maybe secure it a bit more to prevent this happening again and all should be good. I gotta say I had quite of a struggle to reconnect it all in place but... I told you it would be alright! <laughs> so now with the ceiling being perfectly mounted in place and all of the walls finished, I guess it's time to cover the top of the mock. Here I wanted to do a partly decorated edge on the sides and in the middle, I'm planning to do a part of a desert, maybe with a little scene using Marion's minifigure, because she just has to be of some use in this build. But for now, let's just cover it partly with plates, and let's worry about it in the next episode, because there will be a small section sticking out in the front, but for that, I will need the statues first. So now what I want to do is the platform on which the Ark of Covenant is standing, as it is the most important focus point in the whole interior. First I needed to outline the podium that will cover the hole I made in the last episode, 
from which the LED light will be glowing and lighting up the arc from below. And here I decided to go with medium nougat color like the stripe I did around the whole platform to make this part stand out from all of the tan in the chamber. In the corners there will be of course gold pillars holding the decorative arches, but before we go any further, we have to test out the light panel I've connected here. And guess what? It works, so let's not waste any more time and just get back to building and then of course we'll start with covering the remaining part of the floor with the same pattern as all of the surrounding ones. As previously I'm using an easy technique but a satisfying one and with that finished we are ready to attach the podium I was talking about earlier. As for now it's looking ok, but I think I will need to adjust the height when I'll be preparing the scene that I want to show here with Indy and Salah lifting the arc. The most important thing is that the light is shining here bright which in theory should give a great effect on the finished mock and with the lights dimmed a bit it looks even better reflecting on all of the surrounding walls. So now with that out of the way what we have left is the golden adornments on the columns and of course the arc itself. I spent a couple of hours on trying to figure out how to make the arc and I have to say it was not an easy task. Mostly because of the pearl gold element selection that LEGO makes, so I had a hell of a struggle with it and my first attempt turned out something like this. I really like the form of it, but even though not finished because I didn't do the wings on the lid, I figured I will have to come up with something else. And that is simply because it's too big for the case I've made and for the minifigures to hold, so I'll have to rethink it and I'll get back to it in a while. But first let's switch our focus to the decorative ornaments I did on the podium because I'm very happy of how it turned out. I used golden owls as a center part, a couple of fences from the Chinese New Year line and finish it up with some tiles and the look is right down my alley. As I made these elements upside down I had to figure out a way to attach them and I settled on just sliding them between the gaps in the columns and I think that's more than enough. Even though it's not held by any studs, it doesn't have to be as it will just stand there so it shouldn't fall out, as long as I don't poke it too much. Gently, gently. So this way we have the arches all finished so we can get back to making the Ark of Covenant and the second attempt went a bit smoother than the first one even though I spent a couple more hours to figure out the structure. Here of course I should order a gold 3x4 modified tile to replace the orange one or maybe I'll do something else on the lid, but overall I'm satisfied of how it looks in the end. Most importantly it's thinner than the first version so it will fit in the gap with no problem. Ok one more change here. Instead of the modified tile, I use these fence pieces and change the mounting of the wing ornaments and in my opinion it now looks much better than the previous take. But what do you guys think? And yeah, with all that done, I think we have enough of building for one episode, so now I need to place a couple of orders for a few gold pieces some parts for the scene upstairs and of course for the statues that I'm slowly starting to think about. I more or less have an idea how to approach them, but I'm betting it won't be an easy task because I've always had problems with making large human-like figures, but I'm hoping for the best. Oh yeah, and of course I need to make the sarcophaguses for the corners of the chamber to make the interior truly complete. And you guessed it, get more snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? So guys, now it's time for you to let me know what do you think in the comment section below and of course stay tuned to the channel as in the next episode we'll be finishing this beauty of a mock. So subscribe if you haven't done that already, click that bell for alerts, like this video if you enjoyed today's progress and of course as always make sure you keep it breaking.